Hello. Happy Monday morning, if you're watching this on a Monday. Happy other morning or evening or whatever. Anyway, that got complicated really quickly. So before we were talking about savings accounts and we were talking about having an account where you just put money in it and you leave there, leave it there, you don't touch it, you don't add anything, and then you just kind of watch what it does over a few years. But that's not realistic because the whole point of a savings account is to add money to it so that it grows faster, so that you don't spend all your money every time you get it, right? So really, when you have a savings account, ideally, you would be putting money in it at least once a month, um, maybe more. So, okay, so let's see what we would do with that. So let's say you started an account with 500. That's going to depend on what your bank wants, right? Different banks want different things. Let's say you have a 2% interest, and I'd already put percent in there before, but if you hadn't, you would put 2%. Let's say you're putting $50 a month. And those are the only three inputs I have, but I want to make this a yearly contribution because I'm just going to add it in per year to make my table easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my monthly times 60. Oh, not times 60. What am I thinking? I want my monthly times 12, right? Because there are 12 months in a year. Yeah, I was doing that in my head like five times. 12. Okay, so I'm putting in 600 a year. I'm going to go ahead and do like 10 years. I'm running through this because you should already know how to do this. 11 years, that's fine. Okay, this type of table we've already set up. Now notice, like real quick, see how these are like, my titles are too long to fit in one column. So beginning balance would like stretch way out. I don't want to stretch all my columns because I just don't want to. I don't want my spreadsheet being like super wide unnecessarily. You can, but I don't want to. So no, notice how like before we've been doing the merge and center horizontally, you can do that vertically too. So I'm going to do that here. So if I merge these two, it's going to tell me that only keeps the upper left value, discards other values. I'm going to hit OK. So check this out. So it doesn't fit in there, right? It like, if I type beginning balance, like it just does that. There's a trick. So first off, you have to make sure your toolbar is expanded. So if it looks like this, you're going to want to do this. And then there's this option that says wrap text. Ta-da. It's a miracle. I'm going to do it again. Okay, fine. Whatever. Yearly contribution. I just spell that right. Go. Wrap text. Merge and center. and ending balance. Same thing. So you're going to merge and center it. Correct it if you need to, if it didn't already keep it. So ending balance. And then wrap text. Okay, we've got our table set up. Oops, no we don't. Now we got our table set up. Beginning balance. In year one, this is the initial value that you put in. So I'm just going to refer it back to that. Equals 500. Yearly contribution. My yearly contribution is always going to be this much. Now, ideally, you would, as you get raises and stuff like that, you would expand your yearly contribution, but we're just keeping it simple. I'm going to click on my 600. I'm going to immediately put my dollar signs because I know that I always want to refer back to that. And because it's a table, I know I'm going to be clicking and dragging. Interest earned. I'm going to go equals my interest rate times, whoops, times, open parentheses, my beginning plus my yearly. This is the part that's different. So before it was just your interest earned times your, your balance, right? Yeah. Times it. Yeah, anyway. This is, this is not what we want. In this case, you're contributing and you have your balance. So yeah, so there's that. Enter. And then also my B5, I want to always refer back to that. Because I'm going to click and drag. So, okay, I got $22 that year. Ending balance is just, I'm going to add those up. Oops. Okay, real quick, it's going to cut me off. This becomes my new beginning balance. And then after that, I can click and drag, and it'll fill out my entire table. But when I click and drag, you're only going to click this one when you drag. Don't don't drag down number one because number one referred back to your initial. Yay.